take it away. What's going on with Amazon? It's offering a new medical package to workers. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to mention this, and it kind of came out on the same day that we heard this news about the Roe v. Wade situation yeah. in the United States, which we were just talking about before the breaks in. Uh, reports say that uh, the abortion may be made uh, illegally and federally in the United States. Uh, Amazon, though, said today it's going to reimburse its staff in the United States who travel for a wider range uh, of medical uh, needs, including elective abortions. So mm -hmm. if their staff uh, can't get uh, an abortion uh, in the United States, Amazon will pay them up to $4,000 U.S. to travel elsewhere to get that particular uh, procedure. Other companies are also doing similar things. Uh, Yelp and Citigroup have recently announced that they will, too, reimburse employees who travel to circumvent local abortion laws in the United States. So it's a pretty interesting news. There. Fascinating. Lots to watch there and how it's all going to roll out. It really out. could impact Canada because we could be a destination for that, for sure. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, well, Tim Hortons, like many companies during the pandemic, saw its sales absolutely bottom out. People weren't going to work, so they weren't picking up a coffee to go. But the coffee chain is now seeing a nice rebound, Richard. It's interesting that Timmy's is kind of this bellwether now for people going back to the office. And it looks like people are going back to the office because Tim Hortons today reported same store sales that were up, uh, looking a little bit better than expected. Uh, sales jumping to one and a half billion, up some 13% year on year. Uh, the company now, uh, Cynthia says, they want to expand beyond the breakfast. They do very well in the morning with people mm -hmm. going back to work. Not so good in the afternoon. And the company today was talking about how they want to win in espresso. They, they're good with their poured uh, brewed coffee. Ah. Starbucks, though, kind of dominates that espresso market. Sure. They want to get into that. That's what people want to drink in the afternoon. Uh, speaking of Starbucks, they, too, just in the last hour or two, reported some record Q2 sales. So people are buying coffee outside of the house again. A sign that we're starting to emerge, I think, from we the are, whole COVID from situation. from our little cocoon, COVID yes. cocoon. Okay, and Microsoft, this is good news for Toronto, showing off a big new investment here. Yeah, we were there today and Microsoft um, opening up a, a big new uh, Canadian headquarters right here in Toronto. It's down in the uh, new CIBC building, uh, Bay and South of Front, uh, 132,000 square foot uh, office. Not surprisingly being Microsoft, it is outfitted with all the latest cutting edge technology. Employees, Cynthia, can take a mental health break in a number of private meditation and wellness rooms hmm. or find inspiration <laughs> in what they call the Growth Mindset Library. And if I worked for Microsoft, this is where I'd be. They have a cloud bar on the top floor <laughs> <laughs> where workers can grab a cup of joe. I see. Um, I, I think we should ask Dave Budge and John Witten for the same at City News. Yeah, can we get a bar? Yeah. Anyways, John Tory was on hand today touting <laughs> all the economic benefits for the city. Should mention real quick as well, Cynthia, price of gas going up four cents at midnight. Buck Ouch. 90 a liter. This is going to be a match on the record high price we've seen a buck 90 coming up. Oh, that's that hurts a lot of people hard.